According to our church's website, ministering is Christ-like caring for others. It is motivated by our desire to follow the commandment to love our neighbor and includes serving people out of concern for their spiritual and temporal well-being. Throughout the beginning of Elder Gong's talk, he shares many different experiences about people who have ministered to each other. He says, quote, Higher and holier ministering comes when we pray for the pure love of Christ and follow the Spirit. It is said that those who understand the true spirit of ministering do more than before, while those who do not understand do less. Let's do more as our Savior would. As our hymn says, it is a blessing of duty and love, end quote. Elder Gong continues and says, quote, Inspired ministering blesses families and individuals. It also strengthens wards and branches. Think of your ward or branch as a spiritual ecosystem. Ministering, shepherding, makes our vineyard one body, a sacred grove. Each tree in our grove is a living family tree. Roots and branches intertwine. Ministering blesses generations. End quote. Elder Gong concludes his message by saying, quote, Let us reach out and care as our Savior would, especially to those whom we are privileged by love and assignment to minister. In so doing, may we draw closer to Jesus Christ and each other, becoming more like Him and the followers of Jesus Christ He would have us each be. End quote. Thanks for watching. I'm a member of The Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Something special happens every six months in our church. It is a worldwide conference where we hear our beloved prophets speak, as well as the 12 apostles and many other wonderful church leaders. We gather in person or through internet and other forms of communication. We receive over eight hours of Christ-centered messages.